Hello, welcome to the Mar College Guide to Using Satchel One, which is formerly known as Show My Homework. And this is an app and a website that allows parents and pupils to see the homework that's been issued by teachers. So all teachers in Mar College, when they issue homework, should be uh, putting the homework up on to Satchel One. And you can access uh, a lot of guidance on using Satchel One Show My Homework through the school website. As you can see, there's a button for Show My Homework on the homepage for the school website. So there's a link here for parent login, for pupil login, and the whole school homework calendar. And then further down, there's instructions on how to get started using Satchel One. So there's instructions for pupils to access Satchel One through Glow and also instructions for pupils to access Satchel One through the app. Uh, but this video will take you through both of those. When you're accessing through the app, it's login via RM Unify and you have to make sure that it's your full Glow email address with at glow.sch.uk on the end. This is whole school homework calendar. That's if you couldn't for some reason get access to your account on Show My Homework, you can still go in through the school website, select what year group you're in um, and select maybe a subject or a class and you can still see the homework that's been put up by teachers. So this is all the S1 English homework for this week. Next week there doesn't appear to be any up yet, um, but last week there was quite a lot there. So that's uh, so you can see it even if you don't have access to your login. Parents can use the link on the school website or can just search for Show My Homework or search for Satchel One, uh, either will work fine. You've been given a parent code by the school. If you don't have a copy of your parent code, then please contact the school office and we'll be able to provide that for you. So if you haven't used the parent code yet, then you use, they don't have an account yet. And you just have to use that parent code uh, once and set up an account and then you can use your password after that. So you put in an email address, you put in your parent code and then it will ask you for some details including a password and you'll be able to set up an account. The parent code can link multiple uh, parents and carers and guardians, not just one. So. Uh, there are a few people could link into that if you wanted. When you log in as a parent you can see the calendar or you can see a list of homework uh, and also the grade book lets you see there any results that the teachers have put up. Um, teachers do not have to report back on results through Show My Homework but they might choose to and there might also be notices put up by the school. So the homework view seems to be the most useful where you can see the date that the homework is due and a summary of the homework and if you click on the blue text you can see a bit more details about that piece of homework. Pupils access Show My Homework through Glow and they can sign in using their Glow username and password and pupils all know their Glow username and password and any teacher can reset a pupil's Glow password if they've forgotten it. The title is blue and it still says Show My Homework on it. Um, although it still is the Satchel One app that it gets accessed. So there's a to-do list which is the most useful part and you can tick when you've completed something or if you accidentally tick the wrong thing you can untick it in the completed part. There's notifications and the gradebook again is accessible by pupils to show any uh, feedback from teachers if they've decided to put feedback on show my homework on pieces of homework as well. There's a calendar where you can see announcements and events. For example, this announcement from the maths department um, provided for any people who may be working from home. The app can be downloaded on Android or on the App Store on Apple and the app will provide notifications for parents and for pupils when homework is issued and shortly before homework is due and you can edit when you receive those notifications. So if you search for Show My Homework or you search for Satchel One, the same app comes up, it's called Satchel One and it doesn't take up very much space at all. Login, if this is the first time you're logging in as a parent, you can use your parent code on the app. If you've already used the parent code on the website and created a username and password or email address and password, then you can sign in with your email address and password on the app. So you would search for Mar College and use the email address that you signed up with on the website or 
perhaps the payment code if you hadn't signed up yet. So it says log in with pin or payment code, log in with email or username up the top. Pupils have to scroll to the bottom and there it says log in with RM Unify. So sometimes people don't realise that's there because you have to scroll a bit. And also a common mistake by pupils is that they forget that they need their full glow email address not just their username. So the username is usually SA for South Ayrshire, the year that the account was created, um, a two digit year, so maybe 13 or 20 or 18, surname and then the first letter of the first name. So for Joe Blogs, SA18 Blogs J, but they must then have the full email address which is at glow.sch.uk and that's a, a common mistake by people trying to log in that they don't realise that. And they log in with the usual Glow password that they will know. When a pupil logs in they see first of all a, a guide on how to use Show My Homework and um, it's worth having a look at that and clicking next and looking at um, how to mark a piece of homework as completed and how to use your to-do list. But the to-do list is the a, has an upcoming section showing stuff that's going to be due, past is a, stuff that w was maybe due in the past um, and you can see that you can mark something at the top right of it saying that you've completed it. Um, it's not so easy to then retrieve it once you've marked it as completed, so if you if you had something that you had accidentally marked as completed, then you might need to access it through Glow rather than the app to get that back. But other than that, most of the stuff that you can do on your phone is the same as what you can do through Glow. You can also access reminders to set yourself a reminder for a future piece of homework. Thank you for watching and any questions please don't hesitate to contact us at the school.